Hey guys, Eric coming at you about a week after the Super Bowl. I still can't believe the Patriots came back and won. Um, personally, I did not really have a team in the race at that point. I was a Packer fan, kind of devastated after they lost. But um, man, I, I, I can't give the Patriots enough credit, even though I'm not a Patriots fan myself. And throughout the week, my clients and I were all huge sports fans, so we spent a lot of time talking about this role of dominance that the Patriots have had over the last you know decade or so. And you know, although I'm not a Patriots fan per se, I do respect the hell out of what they've done. And you know, talking about this a little bit further, I pulled up a couple of different quotes that Bill Belichick has said over the years that really epitomize the reason he's successful and believe there are some direct applications that you can do and learn from him and transfer those to achieving your goals in fitness. So, excuse my reading for a moment. I'm going to have to take a few things off my screen here. I can't remember quotes verbatim. Sorry, I'm not that sharp. But we'll start with build a solid foundation. But Belichick said there are no shortcuts to building a team each season. You must build the foundation brick by brick. Now, the same principle applies in terms of fitness, right? We need a solid foundation in terms of movement capabilities, stability, mobility. You need to be strong. You need to be able to move pain-free. And the greater this foundation that we have, the taller we can build a pyramid, more or less. So the greater the size of your foundation, the greater level of skill you can achieve. In terms of football, the more foundationally sound that they are in terms of their mechanics, whether it's tackling, throwing a ball, catching a ball, ball control, the better chance they are gonna have to win a game. So take time to build a solid foundation and apply that going forward for your goals. Second, be accountable. I am who I am. In the end, I feel that what I'm accountable for is doing a good job as a football coach. Now, this is a big problem for a lot of people. You know, we tend to look at different things that we can blame. Um, I'm too busy. I've got this going on. This hurts. That hurts. You know, at the end of the day, you know, everybody goes through some shit. You know, we all have rough days. We all have a crazy busy schedule and, you know, things that come up. But we all also have unique advantages. And at the end of the day, you know, we're all here with the same 24 hours you know, we're all here with certain limitations, but certain advantages that we can use to more or less build our best body, to get stronger, to lose fat, and accomplish all these different goals that we have. So at the end of the day, you know, make time. There are really no excuses. At the end of the day, you have to hold yourself accountable or find somebody like a coach who will. Otherwise, you're not going to achieve your goals. But top level accountability is really what's going to separate people who will see success with their goals versus those who do not. Third, everybody is wired differently. I think a smart guy can learn. Some guys learn, it's just like all of us. Some can learn with the electronics, some of us can. Some can learn something else, some of us can. I mean, we're all wired differently. And this is essentially, or especially true when it comes to training. There are so many different ways to train these days, right? Fitness has become extraordinarily popular. Um, you know, we can go do Orange Theory, we can go do intervals, we can go do powerlifting, CrossFit, Olympic lifting, you know, any number of these skills or any number of these types of training. But they're not for everybody. Everybody's gonna learn differently. Everybody's going to be able to apply things differently and different goals can be better for different people. You know, nothing is really set in stone and that's a big problem that we face in the industry today. You know, everything that we read, all these videos, everything is always coming down to absolutes, but that's not always the case. So at the end of the day, what you're gonna to need to do is really find out what works for you, and even more important, what do you enjoy? Obviously, fitness isn't always going to be wonderful, and sometimes it's gonna be pain, discomfort, and whatnot, but the most important thing that you do is find something that you can enjoy, so you will do it consistently and build the habit of training and moving towards your goals. So, everyone's wired differently, there are no absolutes, but, Continue to make progress towards your goals and find something that you do enjoy. Finally, we all stand on the shoulders of giants. So that's kind of my um, summary of this next quote. And the quote by Bill, Belichick, Bill Belichick is, there's an old saying about strength of the woof of the pack. And I think there's a lot of truth of that. On a football team, it's not the strength of the individual players, but it's the strength of the unit and how they all function together. And as I mentioned before, we all stand on the shoulders of giants. You know, nobody gets there alone when it comes to their training or building a business or anything that really that we're looking to accomplish. At the end of the day, we need to surround ourselves with people who are going to be you know, real with us, but they're also gonna be positive in terms of us wanting to achieve their goals, right? We have to cut out that negativity. People that wanna bring you down, that wanna pull you away from your goals, that wanna chastise you for um, you know, eating healthy at a meal or instead of going out with your buddies to go to the gym, all this stuff. But 
You know, you need to surround yourself with excellence. Surround yourself with people who are gonna push you forward and really know that at any given time, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. You're never staying the same. Make sure that environment that you set for yourself and those that you surround yourself with are gonna be there to promote your goals and help you take a step forward. Um, I guess that's really about it in terms of you know, looking at what the Patriots have done for success, but I think these quotes by Bill Belichick have really epitomized you know, the reasons they, that they are successful. Um, I guess final note, guys, I've got two brand new courses on my site. The first one is a fat loss made easy course, simple five-day course where I'm gonna send you information how to simplify the process of losing fat and building long-term habits so you know, when you change your body, you can keep it. It's not just some flash in a pan, you know, quick Hollywood diet. We're gonna lose fat and keep it off. Second, another one called Seven Days of Superhuman that is right on the very front of the Bach Performance website. And what I cover here is I converge the science of both building muscle and also achieving performance. So at the end of the day, what I'm gonna teach you to do is how to build high performance muscle so you have that body that looks as good as it performs. I want you to be you know, skilled all the way around so you don't go to the park, try to do a crossover, tear an ACL, or you can't run around with your kids, or you can't chase your niece down the street. All these different things, guys. So I want you to be fully prepared, uh, but these courses will help you. I will throw a link to each one in the comments below. And thanks again for being here.